fun. In the end of the last episode, things got pretty chaotic. We hung out with Rachel for the first time ever and also had the worst fight ever. Crazy. And then we started a forest fire. So we have been learning a bit about Rachel Amber and her background, as well as what Chloe has been going through ever since her father died. And I think it's just provided a lot more context, of course, yeah. to the first game and kind of, I don't know, helped me understand where Chloe was coming from a bit more. And we also, well, I guess I have to bear the blame for this, but I did not pick the romantic option for Rachel because in my mind it made sense. But we'll see if we can salvage that. Yes. Throughout the next uh, episode. But mm -hmm. if not, I apologize. Yeah! yeah. Burn it all! <laughs> bay, bay over bay. <laughs> <clears throat> you okay me. there, Eric? I, I don't know. I'm gonna make it this episode. My voice at least. <laughs> okay. Episode two, Brave New World. And she's got the flannel. That's it, yeah. <gasps> Wells? Oh, shit. Is that trespassing? Oh, yeah. he, he's on a warpath. <laughs> the bird. <gasps> Sharp Prescott. Maybe. Rachel's? Poor Rachel's parents. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Hot dog man. Hot dog man. Hello. So Rachel's parents. Let I us guess proceed. we're both in trouble. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with oh, Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? No. no. <laughs> what? <laughs> that answer is Miss Price, question. the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? <laughs> is that rhetorical? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. Oh. Uh... We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did. <laughs> In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing hey, on the stage. I thought we dealt with that. Yeah. Don't listen to him. Implications of possible drug-related activities. What does that mean? Yes. Yeah. What does that mean? It means Miss Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana. Man, and I would strongly <laughs> recommend parents. you take a careful look what? through her room at home. <laughs> You're hanging out with Shall a girl like I this? Shall I continue? Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of what? our top students. Victoria Chase. Oh, she copied me. What? Are you kidding? Bro. Academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Yeah. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. Now hold on. Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? The infraction involved both students. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. Will she? I'm sure she will. I highly doubt it. Yeah, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott Nathan Prescott hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf. 
And we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. I helped him. <sighs> Bruh. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Hey, Thanks, yo. Mom. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. So we get blamed for and everything. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Here we go. Convenient. Reassure, I care about mom, not Wells. <laughs> Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. Let's go, Joyce. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. Are we done? Yeah. What does that mean? It means you forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to. I need to do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this, but I wouldn't listen. She is a good actress. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? I guess I'll play along. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. <laughs> Chloe, is this true? It's true. It's damn true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. <laughs> Miss Price? Wait. Wait, yeah, fine would be saying it's true? Yeah, Bush would mean like... You own up. I mean, she's doing me a solid. I don't know why I would say no. I guess it's bad for my reputation, but. Right. Okay. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We and were it's in true, it, it was her idea. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Oh, it's well, not, Dad. Really? Not, yeah. Just Ray. to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? <laughs> I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I hang out with someone like us. Else. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Enjoy the show. You have no right to treat Chloe this way. <laughs> this is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of her. You Mom. tell him, Mom. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But Chloe... But you have squandered our trust. 
You will no longer be my administrative assistant, first period. Ooh. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh no! Oh no, maybe I should have taken oh. the blame. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah. The performance is tonight? But the performance is tonight. For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. you Mr. Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my Damn. school. Damn. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy Victoria, Victoria. Chase. How fitting. Oh. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Can I do something to fix this? I mean, I would rather us take the blame if we can, because we know we get kicked out anyway. Yeah. I feel Here. like this is going to be a hard one, though. Here we go. Good luck. We just started. Okay. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if right, I want I to this. fix this. Yes. Oh, we Related. know. Come back. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Liar. Uh, you should confess? I don't know. I don't really like these options. Well, okay. you should confess to falling for her crap. <laughs> I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. You... You don't tell me what to do? Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> what Holy, a line. This can't be you. Apologize this instant. Um. Fine. Mr. Wells. I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard nice. enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your class. Oh yeah. I appreciate Put the motive, us in the play. But I appreciate honesty <laughs> more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. And All we're right. out. We're kicked out. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. But now we're done for good. And now? You are expelled. Forever. What? No. I'm sorry, I will Mom. have Skip Matthews escort Skip. you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Gotta take one for the team. Are they gonna say anything to us? I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. <laughs> nice. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to Rose meet like and this. James. 
No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Skip! Skip. Hey, Mom. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Is she gonna beat us up? <laughs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. Fuck them. Bunch of fascists. Thanks, man. What's good, Skip? Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. Aww. Who else is gonna listen to his really demos? I don't care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. <laughs> All this stuff. Oh, cat! Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Bongo. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Sorry, Ooh. Bongo. I guess we'll take it. What else do we have in here? Homework. Let's take Ew. the homework. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Mm. Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. I'm assuming that's Mrs. Grant. Yeah. Or Miss Grant. Mm -hmm. Should we trash it? Crumple it up. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Leave our mark? Yeah. <laughs> Almost. No. Expelled. It's starting to feel real. I wonder what would have happened then if we hadn't taken the blame. Yeah. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. It's haunting because it's like there's no music. It just freaks me. I know. You know. More Maybe chem was the class I hated the least. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was oh. one of the few not shitty things about this place. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, just one more thing to do. <laughs> nice. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? Trash. English. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Trash. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Damn. Sorry. Pretty clean locker. My locker <laughs> wasn't any just clean at all. I know. I'd have a bunch of like papers all stuffed in the bottom. Yeah. As soon as you Finally, open it. What I actually came here for. Whoa. Oh, it's like in the wall. Weird. Almost. Okay. But, but when I opened it, it just like, it'd be folders, <laughs> papers falling out of it. Jackpot. <laughs> nice. Wait. What the hell? What? Damn it, Justin. What? 
Had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week. Not cool, Justin. Wow. Wow. We should have given him our combination. I know. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? The bathroom. This Whoa. damn bathroom. Time to make a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Screw you, Blackwell. <laughs> you suck. Let's burn this place. <laughs> wow, she's fast. I know. <laughs> nice. Wow. That's cool. Dang. David. There will be consequences. Oh, there was one from Max, too? Ooh. I'd be way too scared to stand on that. She's very talented. We are leaving no wall untagged. What? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Raven. Frank. Of course, it's Victoria who has to see it. <laughs> well, I apologize to whoever, whoever has to clean that up. Right. <laughs> I guess, would it be... Uh, Samuel? Samuel, yeah. <gasps> Chloe! No. I don't want to deal with this right now. It's David Madsen in the, fle the flesh. What is that? Like the mascot or something? Who's, is that Nathan? Or was it Elliot? Oh, Elliot could be here too. Eli Ott. Thanks for everything, Later, Skip. Skip. Pursue your music. Later. Pisshead. Don't forget about Pisshead. That is the last place I want to go right now. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Or oh, do we have an opportunity Rachel. to go with Elliot? You're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Hella is being introduced into Chloe's vocabulary now. Mm -hmm. Mark the date. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have a text from Wells? Wait, he just texts us? Kind of weird. There we go. Was there some extra here? Yeah. Oh yeah, a bunch. Oh, cause we hadn't even texted each other before. No. Made it into my house without seeing either of my parents. Sweet, you were born to be a spy, jumping out of trains and shit. Oh man, we'd make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Haha, <laughs> meanwhile, you're deep undercover as a passed out person. Lol, today was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah, you know what doesn't suck? What? You, you also don't suck. I know, we should probably sleep. Got Wells tomorrow morning. And then we had our meeting with Wells. Hella weird. Mother. Madre, uh-oh. Okay. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. I'm worried about you, please let, him, let me know you're okay. Did you hear there's a fire? Please text me so I don't worry. Chloe, please. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Come home by curfew. We have that meeting early tomorrow. Again, Chloe, really? Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I am trying my best. best. Holy shit, did you get Wells text about fire? Oh, that's what it is. You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? 
Aren't we supposed to go together? Is that what I said we go to? Yeah. The play? Fire weather update. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Active Class D wildfire. Not contained. Use caution. Check local media for road closures. Please be advised that a fast-moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. I have spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not necessary who do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilize caution while traveling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to waive punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. Okay, okay we're good on text. Oh, we got James and Rose. Interesting. How Another letter to Max. <sighs> that I'll never send. Page 12. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Uh, Max, did we ever play Two Truths and a Lie? You would have been terrible at it. We would have called it Two Truths and, oh God, can I take it back? Sorry for lying. Please, the guilt hurts. Two Truths and a Lie should be a class in school. Feel like I learned a lot. For example, Rachel is ambidextrous, she's a Leo, and she's from California. I also learned that I still have lots more to learn about lying. Rachel read me like an open book. She saw right through my yoo-hoo face-punching story. Basically, she's a human lie detector. Have I, have I mentioned that we were on a train? It was pretty cool sitting there and watching the world fly by. Then we jumped off it and wound up in some crazy-ass park north of town. No big deal. Captain Chloe Bluebeard, Scourge of Arcadia Bay. Mm -hmm. With all this Shakespeare shit going on, I thought I'd write you a sonnet. Then I realized that rhyming is hard and nothing really rhymes with Rachel, which seems fitting given that I've never actually met anyone like Rachel before. With Rachel, everything is a game of some kind. I had to use my breaking and entering skills to get this viewfinder working just so we could spy on peeps at the park. Rachel was hilarious making up dialogue for them, and I actually held my own, mocking some tight shorts wearing speedwalker. After we watched some old couple suck face, <laughs> Rachel decided it was high time we unsobered ourselves. So we hatched a plan to steal wine from these yuppie picnickers. And since it's Rachel, the plan involved elaborate acting and more improv on my part. I killed it once again. I'd still never be caught dead on stage, but this type of acting I can get behind. Our heart hard-earned wine in tow, we journeyed forth in search of more fun and games. Chloe, the unsober. Max, uh, I don't even know. I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe blows this and goes back to having no friends again? I hope so. How did I fuck it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life. The next moment she's acting all weird and withdrawn, and my awkward attempts to fix it only made things worse. Because of course they did. But wait, that's not all, because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car. My dad, my dead dad's fucking car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life. So I smashed it up, obviously, and then I passed out and had a dream where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park and Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me. How was your day? Chloe, the twisted, shattered, and ugly. Okay. Max, when did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I ask because Rachel and I have decided we're done with this shit town. We've had it. It's bye bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it like someone I know, we're gonna leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. In not unrelated news, I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell but at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. Mm. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically. That's how you make an exit woman. Chloe, the exit wounder? Wounder. Damn. Oh. All right, take away James and Rose. James and Rose, you can't trust normal people. Just ask Rachel. Her dad seems like the most normal guy on the planet, but he also turns out to be a cheating dickwad. Come to think of it, maybe that is normal. What sucks is that Rachel and her parents actually seemed to get along really well before. James is the new district attorney in Arcadia Bay, which is the reason Rachel's family moved up here from Orange County. Despite his job, 
James doesn't act like an uptight law enforcer all the time, unlike some wannabe father figures I know. David. Rose, Rachel's mom, also seems pretty decent. She certainly really loves Rachel and James. Poor lady. Whatever happens with Rachel's family, it still seems like she really does love her parents. And maybe that's all that matters. I'd certainly love have. I certainly rather have a cheating dickwad dad than a dead one. Mm. Okay, so those are all the ones I missed last time. Mm-hmm. What do we got? Driver's seat, hideout, shopping list, hood with a view, clean lens, patched path, message board. Okay, well, we definitely got to have one around here somewhere. Yeah. Announcement. Max would have loved this shit. Because of a generous grant from the Prescott Foundation, Blackwell will be offering several new courses next fall designed to nurture the artistic gifts of its students. Visual concepts, intro to composition, intro to ceramics, intermediate Photoshop, intro to character modeling and animation, photography, independent study by invitation only. Let's see, what do we look at? Let's take this moped. Yeah. Three fun. guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Darwin is my Damn. homeboy. Pie. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Wow, she's so cool. Mm-hmm. Wells's car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. <laughs> what is this little... Oh, it's for the show? For the play? Someone's bike got stolen? Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Better go before Wells pins it on me. He would, too. Yeah. I guess these stage lights are for the Tempest. Graffiti. Hmm. What could the Tempest use more of? Pot anarchy! All that's left is to get arrested. (laughs) Nice. Very cool. One down. I hear the lighting is super important for setting the tone. (laughs) Cigarette butts? But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here (laughs) smokes. Fuck this place. Liars. Thelma? Thelma and Louise. Okay, I got that. Ooh. Drugs are free here. <laughs> Man, why didn't anyone tell me before? Oh, Chloe, you're so funny. Okay. Trash can. Any interesting trash? There could be. Yep. Oh. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Yeah, they can wait. It was a little wild. We do have Elliot here. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that conversation. No. No more extracurricular activities. Vortex No more club. curricular activities either. Do they always have their parties at the swimming pool? I guess so. You'd think they'd get tired of it. I know. I guess it's the only place big enough. Oh. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Damn. Ohio. Still with him. Hey, Elliot. Elliot and I have gone to school together since we were in kindergarten. Oh. Until today. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. (laughs) Do you want a hug? Uh, uh, I mean, maybe it could be nice, but I also don't want to, like, send the wrong message. I know. It's all, I mean, you guys have history, but... We're friends. But I know he, I mean, I know from her diary, it's like, oh, he just studies me. So it's, I don't know. Like what? I, I, maybe I should just. What, but what if it's the last time we ever see each other? That's true. I should, no, I'm gonna say no. Because I know I, I. 
I should just like if I'm gonna try to pursue Rachel, I shouldn't have anything to do with anyone else. <laughs> I already screwed up. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess, did she get off scot-free? She wasn't gonna. Um, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? Yeah. I thought I should come early to grab tickets. Oh, right. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. I uh, did. Right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? Um, okay. Well, I already said yes to the show. So I'm I don't gonna I'm not gonna say I'm ditching the show completely. But probably know to hang out afterwards. Yeah. What? I know, it's just like what is this guy doing here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is, I feel like this is the Sorry, Rachel and Chloe Elliot, show. But I'm probably gonna hang out with Rachel. You know, post show celebration. True, she is in the show. Whatever. So. Oh, <laughs> cool. That makes sense. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Sorry, Elliot. Yeah. Yeah. Later. Oh, 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 that was so disappointed. But I think by now, maybe he should get the message, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm sure there's some people who like Elliot. Maybe not. But he just, I mean, so far, he just has no personality He's whatsoever. just kind of there. Yeah. yeah. Piss head much? Aww. That has to be Skip's car. <laughs> Deadbeat babies. What's he got in here? Box of clothes? Soda cans, yeah. papers... He does not anymore. feel like he should be working here. <laughs> he should be out there thrashing. He should. My other vehicle is drama. Wow. That Blech. drama teacher? Okay, what is that? Oh, what? Oh, no, it says life is a stage. I thought it said life is strange, but it didn't. It, it looks like the same text. The font. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Taking pride in Blockwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. It, also, this... the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Or does that have the, the duct tape? Because I know that's what, um... That's what Nathan's truck was like, but it had duct tape on the side of it. Oh. Maybe it's his, but not yet. It won't have that mark. Yeah. I don't know. Does this car belong to anyone? Bird! Bird! Hey, Bird! Well, that's the one that uh, was... Okay. A little yeah. bit that gets stuck in the house. Yeah. Bye. Elitist Blackwell Bird. <laughs> Even the birds. Damn it. No, uh, I don't want to go over. I just don't want to deal with David. Oh, this is it, huh? Skateboard. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. Yeah. Beer bottles? Wow. That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. Damn. Mm. <sighs> well... Goodbye, Blackwell. Goodbye. I mean, I guess we might be back later for the show, but True. goodbye for now. It's about damn time. David, please. Why are you even here? Did you drive us here? Uh, you didn't have to. Yeah. Um, if you want to be here, you, you have Mom to is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment, which, of course, just makes this worse. Here we go. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Oh, really? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? 
Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Well, we're not going to listen to you. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Someone needed my help. Hmm. I'm not going to mention R Rachel or anything. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? To Maybe... Leave. I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about... Joyce, very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Yeah, what incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. What a tattletale. You were rude. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. It's so weird, right? Because he's... He does he's good just, things in the main game in the end. But he's just going about it in a very shit way. Like, he's already acting like our dad. I know! And he's not even... He's, like... I just feel like... Like, Chloe's still grieving, bro, over the loss of her dad. She's only, like, 16. And you cannot expect a 16-year-old to know what they want to do with their life. And, like, this guy already expects, like, to come in here and expects her to, like, obey him and be his daughter. While she, meanwhile, she's still giving, getting over the loss of her dad. And that's not made easier by everyone just pretending that he, like, never even existed. Yeah. I'll say sure... Well, I don't know if Chloe will interpret it that way, but it's just to try to keep the peace for now. But I'm sure we'll get into an argument later. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom. Just I don't saying. need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry. But David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start Ooh, fresh. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. It just feels like... He's kind of like just bulldozing yeah. himself into our little family. Do we have... We have the bud, have right? That bag? Wait. Wait. Because we got the... Because... From our locker, it was just a... A doobie, right? Or was it just a rolled up piece of paper? Oh. Because that was then... Or was there more... In, I don't know what was but in there exactly. We, we did have stuff from... We bought pot from... I know how we've been carrying that bag around with us. What's his face? Frank? Frank. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, it's going to look bad if I refuse, but if we literally have drugs on us, that doesn't look good either. Comply. 
if we refuse, it makes us look guilty. But also, it's like, why do I have to obey? Like, I'm, I don't know. It just feels weird, man. Yeah. Like, like if it, you're concerned about your kid, I feel like there are better ways. It's, it's just like, it's been a whole sequence of terrible choices. And then this isn't going to help anything, you know? On, like, Joyce's part, I feel like. And I, I, it feels like she's just using David to, like, he's a solution to fix Chloe. I don't know. Well, like, on the one hand, I understand because she has tried talking to her and it hasn't necessarily worked. But there's a reason. It's because, you know, again, they, like, she just keeps trying to move on and, like, pretend like uh, William was like never even there by like getting rid of the pictures you know it's just she she wants chloe to move on but it doesn't work like that right but anyway i guess that's not really important at the moment (laughs) (laughs) i mean based on the chloe that we know in life is strange she she would refuse and i don't think complying is gonna like help right now i apologize couldn't that have been enough yeah david she pulled the middle finger (laughs) sure here you go show me a warrant (laughs) you watch too much television your refusal to comply is as good as an admission I admit to you being a fascist, and I don't take orders from fascists. Nice. What happened to trust being a two-way street? That was before you were expelled. I knew it. I knew she was going to do that. Somewhere along the way, we lost our trust. This is not the way to get it back. Not at all. Okay. That's it? She's basically admitted her guilt, and you're letting her off the hook? Uh Uh-oh. I am not letting her off the hook. I am trying to find a way for us to move on. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. Mm. One that will involve the three of us together. What does that that mean? mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Dun, dun, dun. Bro, have they been dating for like a few months? Yeah. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. That this sucks. <laughs> yeah. Why would we be happy about this? Ooh, both are interesting. <sighs> yeah. I know I've effed up. But where's she gonna go with that? You're trying, I get it. Oh, uh, that's a tricky one. Ugh, I know. Mom, I, I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you and you need me and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. With cameras in your bedroom. Yeah. Do we have to get in? Can we just walk home? They're gone. Wait, did they just disappear? No. I think they're just off to the side. No, oh, it feels like we're getting into a prison vehicle. Right. Hey! There is no home. 
Not if he's there. Respect. Chloe. Let I don't like how go. he's always putting She'll his hands out. As soon as her tantrum is over. See, and there he's just dismissing her feelings completely. Yeah. Bro, like, this is. I feel like he never takes into consideration, like, what she's been through. And also, was he ever married before? I don't know. What does he know about having a home and having a kid? And... Right. <laughs> he just, he's so How annoying. do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Hmm. Baseball bats. Oh, I still see the yeah, the smoke and fire in the distance. Black hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Smash some more stuff. The truck. the truck. So she just literally like gets a truck from here. I guess so. She's immediately yeah. drawn to it. Could be our way out of here. Wow, look at that V8 engine. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. No good. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. Time for a montage. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. That would be nice. Get battery, put in, in truck. truck. All right, pretty self-explanatory. We got another journal page. Yes. Max, you ever hated someone's guts, but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got it inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which meant demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I refused because fuck fascist. And if that's what mom needs to trust me, then that's her problem. I guess it backfired because now David is moving into my house, my old house. I say old house because if he's not there, uh, I say old house because if he's there, I sure as shit am not. Oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of Bryce. <laughs> Chloe, bane of fascists. And from mom. Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. He's trying. It didn't help that you refused to empty your pockets. Whatever, I'm not going to play along with his little power trip. Chloe, can you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. See, I hate lines like that because it's just like so manipulative. Yeah. Because... She's, Chloe's been through life-changing things. Like, right. she's not going to be the same person that she was. After going, yeah, after seeing, yeah, after losing her father and then seeing the truck again, reminding her of that trauma. Right, and she episode. probably doesn't feel like there's a safe space to talk about something like that. Like, she doesn't feel like she can talk to Joyce about right. that. Like, this is your daughter, you know? Yeah, exactly. And... I think if your child is turning to drugs and alcohol, it's worth asking why they're doing that. Right. You know? As opposed to just like, oh, that's it. Oh, great. My child is now a drug addict. Yeah. Abusing drugs. Magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. Ugh, it's just messy. I know. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel oh, last yeah. night. <laughs> Amazing that someone I just met could have made me <laughs> hollow on the inside. 
<laughs> Who else does it remind me of? George, George Crabshack. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but who knows? The school bus. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. The That's magic so school bus. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, school buses do suck. I kind of like the school bus. <laughs> well, that's pretty crazy if you ask me. I don't know, just sitting on the bus with my, my headphones on my uh, MP3 player. Wow. Just don't Leave dope. no trash box unopened. That's my motto. There could be anything in here. There could be like a dead rat. Or a car battery. Huh? A bobblehead. Hello. Decoration? Okay. Nice. Cool. Is it Elvis? Or this someone from like some the center. Brat Pack. The, the Rat Pack, rather. Like Frank Sinatra. No, not going over there. Bat. Oh. Hmm. I think I'm all smashed out. I thought it was going to be an actual For bat. Now. <laughs> bat. The animal. Oh, climb. Well, that's a different way than <laughs> Max, Max used. You need a whole process with Max. Can I take this? No. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves <laughs> everyone. And he will. AI, hey, bro. Dun, dun, dun. Smut Mag. Pretty sure this isn't what Rachel meant when she talked about going to LA to be a model. <laughs> then again, it's probably not what this person meant either. Mm. Damn. How far can I go? You're a long way from the country club, guy. Posters. Now this is a vortex club I wouldn't mind joining. Free love. What? Outcasts unite. Class of Blackwell Academy class. Okay. So what, they used to be cool? Oh. I can't remember, did we read something about that? In the first game, and like the history of the vortex. Right, club. it's been a while. That it's been a while for been around for a while. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Yeah. This rug has some miles on it. Looks pretty gross. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for. Whoa. Camera. Dreams. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Mm -hmm. So obviously she doesn't. I wonder what, like, happens then, you know? Hmm. Like... Why did like why is she still here? Like it seems like they want to do like leave now. I guess it's just lack of money for fixing up the truck. Yeah. Or being able to just leave in general. First you take my mom, then you take my home. God, fuck you, David. Boo, David, you suck. Bro, you know it'd be crazy. What? I can see them doing this. She's gonna use the car battery from her dad's car. Oh, maybe. Smile, bitch. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. Hmm. Should I look at it? Or should I do other stuff first? I still have the boat to climb up on. Right, 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 right. Maybe we'll do that. There's got to be a battery under one oh. of these car hoods. Fire poker. Yeah, well, right? I'm not concerned about that right now. <laughs> I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. <laughs> oh. A little too soon there, Chloe. Radio? Anyone there? And, uh, oh, it's just music and a news. Band called Pisshead is blowing mines and speakers throughout the bay. Yeah! Yeah! That's the one we heard, right? Yeah! Go, Skip! He, 
he probably, you know, we said that it was really good, so he was like, yeah, let's make it a single. Yeah. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> buried. Oh, I can't go in. Oh, not yet, it looks like. Boo. Oh, I can't hear it over here. Hmm. So Skip must leave to go with this van and then enter David. Come on, Chloe. Come on, Chloe. You got it. Hang in there. Oh. <laughs> Damn, you cigarettes. Is there a way I can get up? Pallet. Oh. A palais. Prop up. Then climb on the car. No. We can't even lift this? Okay. Is this gonna help? Oh, nice. Smart thinking, Chloe. Not the most flawless execution, but we did it. We're up here. Shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Hood. Hood, but no battery. Oh, Graffiti! Yay! Nearly all great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. I like how she's gesturing as if she's talking, but she's, you know, it's all in her head. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash hmm. heaps? Buried treasure or oh, oh that's kind of oh dark. Let's, let's just go with buried treasure. Little foreshadowing. Oh, wow. I can't believe the dev said that. I mean, the devs that's their choice to do that. I wow. Know. Whoa, that's cool. Looks like a Red Dead map. <laughs> it does. Climb again? Keep, keep climbing. What are we doing up here? Just taking in the sights? I guess so. The flames. Oh. Blazing. Whoa. Whoa. I That's can't cool believe shot. Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Did she mean to? Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could grow to light up the entire sky. Whoa, weird. In conclusion, fire. Pretty sweet. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it was part of, I mean, Rachel, you know, she not only was mad at her dad, but also I don't think she likes Arcadia Bay that much anyway. Yeah. So it was just a. I hate you. I hate everything. Mm -hmm. You know. Bye bye boat. Bye bye boat. Let's get this battery. Let's do it. It looks pretty junky, but investigate. This oh, is that no doesn't good. look good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's next? Yeah, those are no good. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Not even I'll close. Look for new cars. <laughs> Maybe even another truck. Another truck. What am I not thinking of? I feel like I ran everywhere. 
Hmm. A school bus? <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, I can go over here. Nice. Oh, I didn't think I. Wow, I didn't think I could walk up here. You're a long way from the beach. As am I. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Light bulb. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. <laughs> oh, David. Oh, there we go. That looks mint can dish. Yes, it does. Mint can dish. Mm. Nice. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. I'll be with you in a moment. This is probably a no-go. What is that? A lampshade? What is that? Oh no, it's just oh. a, it looks like a lampshade from the outside. <laughs> this one won't work. Anything over here? Another mat? Welcome, Welcome mat. mat. This mat has seen some things. Mostly feet. Ew. Chloe the comedian. Placement mat. So many mats. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Ooh. Yep. All right, battery, you better be in here. Oh, can I graffiti this driver's seat? No. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. Does it say mom? <laughs> it does look like it. Hey, bird. Aww. He looks like a black cap chickadee. Yeah. So cute. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? Show me the money. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Do you need a tool? Ooh. Oh, we can pop oh. the hood. Pop the hood! Let's go. Wow, that looks pristine. In official car speak. This is the thing that makes the other things do their things. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Bravo. Well done. Let's stuff it in our pocket. <laughs> now we have to return battery. All right, if I missed any more graffiti around here, I apologize. I tried my best. What are we gonna do? Does he go, does he go in the car? I'm trying, I can't remember. She has a bunch of stuff in there. I know. She, she did, yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I thought we were gonna get shocked and die. We could have, and she just goes back in. What is trooper? Will it start? Is that all we needed? Just a new battery to get it up and running? Then the keys. Oh yeah. In the, yeah, the visor? No? Dash? Or? We can oh, use we can just. Yeah. But that's all we need. Nice. Dang, Chloe. This is how the Kia boys throw a car. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. Shit. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. <gasps> we can put him there. Yay. I know someone who would be very happy here. Really quick. Rachel. 
Grabbing, uh, oh wait. Um, is that new? Go up? Okay. Yeah, you you're weird, you are, it's okay. Chloe Price, I don't suck, you really don't. My mom thinks I do. Okay. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight, still there. Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Okay. Yay! Singing man. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. Nice. What can we do about that? Oh my Mom's gosh, it's completely <laughs> could be nice. I should probably cover over this massive hole. With what? The welcome sign. Probably a good Maybe. idea to cover over this with something. Okay, so can I go find stuff? Oh, yeah. broken ball. Oh, yeah. Maybe there's another light bulb the I can one. put in here. Very so moody. Okay. Okay, let's leave. I think everything's about over here. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to can offer. I can Damn. That'd be funny to put in. I will take this. Yes. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Do we get to have our pick of, cause we had the welcome mat. Wait, there's the place mat. Okay, we can't, can't take, take that. that. Uh, where was, okay, there's the welcome mat. Was there something else? Um, I don't think there was. Am I crazy? You might be. I might be crazy, you say. <laughs> Fine, I'll take the welcome mat. Well, how do, what do we use to cover the seats? Could we use the beach you towel? You should cover that life endangering floor hole quite nicely. It's still a hole there, though. Like, if someone sits there... Yeah. ...when their foot go through the floor anyway? We don't have to worry about that. The, the passenger does. That's their problem. <laughs> this could cover that torn seat. And look Probably awesome smells doing gross, it. though. <laughs> Probably all, like, wet and moldy. <laughs> uh, it's a junker. But it's our piece of junk. <laughs> True. Ah! Was that me? Oh. Oh, I... Oh. <laughs> I see. Halloween's over and I'm still on edge. Oh, that would have been cool. The pirate... I wonder if I could have taken that. That would have been way cooler. Ugh. Ah. Better head back to the truck. Well, it did... There was a cassette tape. That popped up before you. You think I can go back? Maybe. Does it work? Please. I think it should work. Don't let this be for nothing. Please work. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's so satisfying. Arr. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Yeah. We got it. Way better than that moldy beach towel. <laughs> Although this might be moldy as well. But I don't care. Right. What? What can I take you for? Oh, we could take this as well. Does he have a blue light bulb? Could we use that maybe? Yeah, top. Ooh. Blue would be cool too, I guess. Yeah. Light the way, Robo Bulb. Okay. Maybe the red would have been cooler, but you know what? I'm not gonna switch and <laughs> switch it again. I, it, it's different vibe. Like red, like you could be like in, you know. But like with a pirate flag. Well, pirates are kind of like blue too, though, because it's like you know you're on the seas. Yeah. All right. First. Fix. <laughs> Oh, nice. 
nice. That's cool. I like it. The, the welcome mat might be a bit of a contrasting look to the pirate flag, but that's okay. Looks good. <laughs> nice. And oh, the light. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it, will it even turn on right now? Because we still need power. Oh right? yeah. So, That's true. It's just there. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. It probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, it which will. seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Rachel or mom? Or Elliot. <laughs> yeah. Bryce, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Yeah, really? Listen, okay. We've <laughs> got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about. Oh, like drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Perfect place to talk okay. about drugs. And Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? Hopefully like, it wasn't that money I in stole. general, or to you? I'll see you soon. Uh oh. <laughs> What the heck, Frank? That... So is this how... Like, Rachel's probably gonna be here. <gasps> this is probably how they meet. Rachel and Frank. I guess. Wow. That was so mysterious. Time wow. for a hard-earned smoke break. Graffiti. Oh, nice! You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical or frightening? Let's go frightening. Ah. This'll give intruders something to think about. You're about to, to dip. To dip? What does that mean? Like dip? Like, like leave? Technically, like we're all about oh, to die. die. Oh. <laughs> take a wide enough view Chloe. of things. I thought it was like, we're about to dip. <laughs> yeah. like so we can't turn it on. Looking Ooh, good, Oh, Rubble it almost looks purple. Purple. Vapor like wave. It. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something off about that guy. Cute. Honk. Gotta test it out. <laughs> Solid honk. Yeah. Smoke. Glove Ooh. compartment, nice. What do we have here? A purse? Most people probably wouldn't wear a beanie they oh. found in a junkyard. Sucks for most people. Is it like? Yep. This will do. Is it the beanie? Oh, we're not wearing it yet. I guess maybe we'll wash it. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> all right. Let's, all that's left is to have a smoke. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. All right. Just vibing. I'm trying to reach out. I know I'll get you. Man, the air quality has got to suck. Yeah. You have been. Child is 
see when we wake up both are both rachel and frank gonna be here they're gonna be chatting so one of the them storm. gonna get here first oh, another dream another dream okay Ooh. oh no oh, you are about Shit. to die i slept all day Ooh, creepy it's moving what the hell not again Whoa, weird. Ooh, creepy. Yeah. Dad? Whoa. I wonder if it burned like this the day the day it happened. I miss him so much. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Do I even like marshmallows? I like marshmallows. Me too. Hey, you hear those eerie sounds in the background. Stab. They sound like souls. I know, are we in like hell? Purgatory? Right. Or just some representation? Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us. Just like darkness, but darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Mm. Interesting. Whoa. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. This is psychedelic now. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Oh, uh, what? Careful of what? I don't like that voice change. Ah! Ooh. Of getting burned. Bro, what the fuck? What is this, Pet cemetery? A nightmare, man. Who is the... So yeah, was he saying fire is Rachel, Rachel or fire is like, fire is jealous? Jealousy. Something more like 
Someone else? Hello? Rachel? Oh, that was creepy, that's creepy, man. Yeah, that was creepy. We should play this during Halloween. I know. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Huh. Funny. Yeah. Miss Firestarter. Right, who are you talking about starting fires? So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. A bag? What? Well, we're not going anywhere right now. You get the side with the hole in the floor. Welcome. Girl, it doesn't work. Sorry. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? You don't like my choices? A cool blue light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Yeah. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. I hope. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. What about you? What <laughs> you know, are you doing? Buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. Holy shit. That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. Thank you. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. Hmm. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Or the police? <laughs> uh, us? Pretty wild? What does that mean? Yeah, like, I didn't do it. Is it us? I mean, like, I didn't start the fire. You did. <sighs> last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. That's true. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? <laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Damn. Dictator David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well? Where do we start? <laughs> Everything. Wow, it really is like therapy. <laughs> well, Doc. Well, I think David is the primary concern at the moment. Yeah. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. Yeah. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. <laughs> what have you got? We usually call, she usually calls him Step Douche, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's a uh, Step Douche. 
because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. <laughs> Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! Ew! Bro. And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. Wow. What the hell kind of therapist are you? <laughs> what are we Sorry. paying you for? It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Hmm, Blackwell? I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Oh? Perhaps this friend of yours, who, I reiterate, must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. So it's our fault. <laughs> How to steal wine from yuppie what? picnickers? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. <laughs> it sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Bring it in. Can we talk about something else? Sure. Of course. Hot dog man. <laughs> Wells, a fire... Well, probably not the fire. The truck? Yeah. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. <laughs> Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? Mm. You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. That can happen. I think you have a Especially personality. Especially as a teenager. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't mm. really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Mm. See, some of these are difficult because personally, like, I would say you are not like him. Yeah. Because I think it's not up to me, like, it doesn't, you know, to make sure that she's not like that. Right. But, you know, they're both young. They're both emotional. Would I won't let you be more like of a romantic, <laughs> like, I won't let, let you. you. When we're together, nothing can stop us. Yeah. I, I just know. can't tell with this girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're not like him. I won't let you. Um, what would you say? You're not like him. Because then she could just be like, well, how do you know? I won't let you. I'll try. I'll try. You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty it. good answer, actually. Okay. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Wow. Well, that was okay. <laughs> Who's Shit. that? 
It's time for the play. Oh. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Where's Frank? Good luck. Yeah. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. Break a leg. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. <laughs> hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. I have time. Something criminal. <laughs> Sorry, I Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> I'm in. Rip, Elliot. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just oh. a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. <laughs> Drive safe, Chloe. Thanks, girl. Wow. How did she get here? Does she have a car? I know. Now Frank's coming. <sighs> oh, nice. The radio's back on. <sighs> Hello, Junk Shack. Yeehaw. Has so much potential. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. In a moment. Yes. Ack, I heard you got expelled. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. <laughs> Get it? Steph says you're a nerd. Aw, thanks for texting me. Next. This one's just chilling here. I Whole so. tapestry. Next. Okay, that's cool. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Graffiti. Graffiti! Oh, this is where they write... That they were Chloe here. Chloe Price was here, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And then Rachel will write later. And then... It's important to mark my territory for all future Junk Max Shack visitors. Will write. Looking good. <laughs> the cutting edge in junkyard security technology. Okay, so we've got our graffiti. We've got a sign yes. telling people they better not come in here. Ooh, we've got the dartboard. dartboard. A great pastime. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have darts though. Not yet. Unfortunately. No, I just need a photo of David. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got our tapestry. I think it's time to check out the bag. Yes. See what Rachel has for us. A bag full of clothes. That's nice. Goodbye, New fit? Man. Yes, I need those. Do I get a new fit? <gasps> Yes! <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. <laughs> Yay! Where do I begin? You know, I was just thinking this outfit was getting a little stale. Yeah. So this is great. So I think she's wearing this in the front of the episode. Oh, the shirt? I think so. So it's the cannon shirt. Okay, we've got a long sleeve underneath. It's pretty, you know, chill. Chill. Not too exciting. What's that? I mean, I'm. I wonder if these are all the same. Look, we gotta try them all. We gotta Tarot. try them all. Tarot Tower. Oh, we got a jacket. I don't know if I like the vibe of the jacket, but cool variety. Different chucks. 
Yeah, like red. Yeah. This doesn't feel like Chloe though. No. I like the zero. I the colors throwing it off. Different color combination. Oh, is this a beanie? Yeah, you get a beanie with it. That could be convincing. Let's see. That's a vibe. What's the shirt? Is it blue and like red? A blue beanie and then the shirt's red. And then the shoes are like, are they red as well? <laughs> it's not bad. It's, it's not probably bad. my favorite so far. It's a raven, right? Okay. What are bonus. our bonus Is outfits? it just the ones that we've had before? It could be. Classic okay, Chloe. Classic Chloe. That's not exciting. Oh, it is. Okay, so... I know you liked the Illuminati, Illuminati. one. I don't know. Oh, do we need a beanie? Those shoes are sick, though, bro. I do like this outfit, too. I'm trying to think about where we're heading, like what we're doing. We're going to be going. Are we going to the, are we going to the show tonight? Is yes. that more of like a... Like I a, know. Plus, what do we do? Like we, day to night. Like, we, do we need something a little more like warm and cozy? But then what are we doing afterwards? Oh, yeah, if we're doing illegal things. Is this more of an illegal things outfit? I don't know, but Maybe. I don't think it's cold. I guess you won't <laughs> care. We won't know. Well, I wasn't super attached to any of those three outfits, like the main ones. You still like this one? I like this one, it's, but I know you like the Raven one. That's okay. This is cool. This is cool. All I right. like this one. How did she get into our closet? <laughs> right. I'm at the junkyard now. Ooh. Okay. Well, it can't be that bad, right? Oh, we could still switch. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Are you sure? Yes. All right, Frank. I think we have time for you. <laughs> that stupid RV. Yeah. In the flesh. All right, what did I do? Oh. <gasps> That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Oh my gosh! Yo, she looks mean. Are you with Frank or what? Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Yo, is Frank. Is the password drugs? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Get your ass in here. Okay. What if it's about stealing the money from that guy's, guy's trunk? That would be hilarious. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Dude! It smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Well, uh, Whoa! Where are we going? Yeah. Jeez, man. Yo, I was gonna get my notebook price. Are you kidnapping me? Then we'll talk. This isn't cool just to drive off. No, right. I'm fetching Whoa. things for this Frank. I don't like How it. low can I go? Justin. Um, dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. <laughs> Word. I'm home too. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. Mm. My mom was making me go to her book group. Nice. Oh man. You're listening to it's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. Yeah. It really is. So he just dropped that lady off at the junkyard? A bedding slip. $1,200? Way out of my There's league. There's a demon. Oh, I forgot all about that. Yeah. Fight the power. Search and, sur se search and seizure law. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Oh, really? He went to Blackwell? I don't think it wow. I never would have expected that. Well, the fire is spreading in an unusual way. <sighs> Sorry, Frank. I didn't know it was your RV when I wrote that. <laughs> Hello, you're definitely not a meth lab, and I'm definitely not interested. Wait. 
So I know we wrote that on his RV. Wait, would it fit? Would it know that it was his? Wait. Chloe didn't know that. It was. I guess not. I thought we did. Oh. But wait, what is this message saying? You're definitely not a meth lab, and I'm definitely not interested. Cause then we write definitely not a meth lab. Isn't that what we said? Yeah. So is this just some girl or what? Maybe I don't know. You don't think it was her that just walked? No, that wouldn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, Frank. Ew. Ugh. Gross. Oh, come on. There's no pompadour to clean it up. <laughs> Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive-through order. <laughs> what does Frank really need to remember? Beer, TP, milk, work, or home? Mm, gentle reminders. Got it. This might not be the most gentle, but it is important. Nice. Do you think we can look in here? We can get mad Wonder what Frank eats when he gets the munchies. Beans. Beans! beans! The beans! <laughs> That's so many beans. That's an insane <laughs> amount of beans. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> Frank and his beans. Beans and hot sauce. Frank and beans. <laughs> Computer? Wait, Frank got a puppy? For real? Wait, where is he? Hi there, my dog is three months old and he's still peeing everywhere. What do I do? Thanks. Puppies have accidents when they are scared. You have to stop scolding your puppy. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is she having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly at whether you are really able to have a dog. What's your bleep problem, lady? I said I don't scold him. Wow, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her, and worse. <laughs> Frank did not take too kindly to that. Oh, man. Rachel the therapist would have a field day with this. Oh, are these his search? Oh, his search history? Dream about clouds meaning what age will dog eat steak? Piss head. Piss head music. Megan <laughs> Fox, me the Kunis. Cloud formation screensaver. Property insurance fire illegal. Arcadia Bay Forest watch. Megan Fox single. How large was biggest cloud in history? Why won't Buffy eat steak? Uh, he's a simple guy. The mill burned down. Frank, I went back to the mill. Shouldn't have. I'm fucking furious. Everything's burned. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dogs didn't make it. That's 10k gone just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. RF and that whole crew are gonna be pissed. How am I supposed to come back from this with my fucking reputation intact? I can't think straight on this shit right now. I just want to find who started the fire and burn his fucking face. Uh-oh. Not good. Oh, we killed dogs? Yeah. Jeez. Gross. That's an expensive dog. Frank, you like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Callie's buyer wanted him, and I said, fuck off. Keep your 3K. I'm saving him for my buddy Frank. I mean it. Everything you've done for me adds up way more than the 3K. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just let me breed him later. Ew. Damon. So Damon's pissed. So, yeah, yeah, not good. Well, fun. I love having adults hate me. <laughs> Scary adults. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on That's, this dog. All the steak is for the dog? Wow. He must really love his dog. Is the dog in here? Probably. I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight philosophy of drug stashing. I do not want to take that. <laughs> Is that a good idea? I feel like that's a bad idea. Part of a balanced breakfast. Do they have consequences? 
I feel like it would. Yeah. I'm not taking it. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Here comes a dog. Papa do. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> hey there. Oh. It's okay, little guy. Oh shit. Pompadou, get up here. <laughs> it's so tiny. Pompadou. You little killer. <laughs> oh. Is this safe while you're driving? <laughs> Look at him. He's so small. He's also, so... Elliot probably. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wait, did we have all this before? Uh, Tempest is gonna hey, be awesome. Hey, after Tempest, you wanna hang out? Tempest is gonna be awesome, like awesomely bad. It's gonna be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm fine. Ooh, Elliot, take the hint, bro. Uh, wait, did we look at this? Fight the power. Yeah. Okay. Pompadou, why haven't you cleaned up this food? Because Frank finally gave up on the steak. That's um, a lot of steak he has, though. A throne fit for Frank. So I know he said that we're looking for a book, right? Is that it? Yeah. Frank and his BFF. Is that him? Damon. That's adorable. He's got some tattoos as well, like wow. that lady. Yeah. I wonder if that means they're related. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. Ultra death. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. All right. That's probably the notebook Frank wants. Okay. Is this what I think it is? Glad I paid that off. The ledger. Oh, Stella. Stella drew. A thousand fifty? Bro. Damn. Okay, so that probably explains his all the problems that they're dealing with, their family. Yeah. With Drew. What if he Yeah, interesting. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Mm. And why he kidnapped me. Right. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass <laughs> name. It's French. <laughs> no. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something do i look like i speak fucking french <laughs> okay so who was that woman what woman the one i saw coming out of your rv oh yeah i meant to introduce you her name is mind your own fucking business yeah <gasps> Oh shit, here All right, we let's go. go. How, how hard is Frank gonna be? He could be difficult. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Okay. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money Beats. by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Dream Cloud. That was on his computer, right? Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia <laughs> Bay. You too. See? <laughs> We're a lot alike, Frank. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Come 
Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have to keep us from hanging ourselves out of boredom. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Give it to me, Frank. I don't know. You Frank. don't know. You do know. Talk. You want to tell me. And you want to tell I'll me. I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh. How about that beans. firehouse chili of hers? <laughs> beans. You, you got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Oh, but it spelled weird. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like uh, who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Well, we got a name at least. Sarah. Thanks for telling me. So she's a troublemaker. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Um... I don't, I, with Frank, you don't want to pry too much? Yeah, I know. How about you? I think you? we already know anyway. Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Okay. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Yes. Hey, Drew North? Y yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. Ooh. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Damn. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. What? Can what? you handle that? That's crazy. What's in it for me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. But we need the money, I guess. What's if there is a me? payoff. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. True. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, R Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Wow. I wonder if this is gonna cause problems with our friend, uh, his, his younger brother. Right, Mikey. Mikey. Or he's gonna find us and try to beat us up. Oh, yeah. So empty. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. Is that I can't tell. Right. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Back at school yet again, they've got some tents up for dressing rooms. What are you up to? I'm here too, actually, running an errand for my dealer. Oh, really? So bad. Come see me when you're done? Yeah, for sure. P.S. I saw that woman that your dad was with coming out of my dealer's RV. What? Apparently she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah. Rachel? 
I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. Okay. And I think we're gonna end it there. On a cliffhanger. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so Chloe is officially kicked out of Blackwell. Done. Which means that she can focus on her mission now of get, finding a way to get out of Arcadia Bay yep. with Rachel. But it looks like we have some drama brewing up of this Damon guy wanting the heads of whoever started this fire and ruined his business. Yep. So that's not great. Like, is there any evidence that we were the ones who did it? I wonder if we left something behind. Oh, but you know who was there? Sarah. You think she could have been like left behind still? And maybe she saw us. Maybe. That's why she was smiling. Or she was just smiling because she wants chaos and you know, she's a meddler, right? She is very mysterious. She just came out of nowhere. She's causing problems. She's, you know, with married men. Like, what is it? Who, who is this woman? She spells her name weird. <laughs> yeah. And I guess, yeah, now we're about to break into a student's room. We're already, you know, up to illegal things. Right. Not that we weren't anyway, but it sounds like Rachel wants to do some crazy stuff after the play as well. Mm -hmm. But we gotta be careful. Wells will probably be around here. Um, you know who else will be around here? Elliot. Yikes. I mean, we're still supposed to go with him to the play, right? Ugh. It's just Ugh. so awkward. It's just like, bro. I know, you know, I know. It's like, take a hint. Take a hint, yeah. <laughs> Enjoyed the start to this episode and mm -hmm. looking forward to where it goes from here. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.